So to start, we're going to need to have ChatGPT 4.0. So make sure that when you have your ChatGPT window open, that you have the 4.0 model selected. The next step is you're going to need to upload the logo to ChatGPT. So you can either do this by searching for the logo you want. So for example, the Webflow logo, I just searched it up, copied it, and then control V, paste it into ChatGPT like so. And then the second step that you want is to find a 3D image. So I searched for the spline design tool, just using this as an example, because it's the closest thing I can think of. And I want to make the Webflow logo 3D, similar to the style of this 3D image right here. So all I have to do is just go ahead and copy the image and then paste it with the logo that we want to turn into 3D. So I have the Webflow logo that we saw earlier. I have this 3D image right here, and I'm telling ChatGPT to make this logo in the style of the second picture. And what that does is it turns this flat 2D logo into a 3D version, and you'll notice that the style of this and the shading and all the lighting effects are all similar to the second image that we gave it right here. So this allows us to turn any logo we want into this 3D style. So I did another example just to demonstrate how this works. So I gave it the Figma logo right here and I told it to make it into the style of this. Obviously we're not making this into a face or an animal or anything like that. We just want the shading and the lighting effects that are on this 3D image. So I told it to turn this logo into a 3D style of the second image. Don't add any extra stuff, just make the background white. And you can see it, sometimes it does hallucinate a little bit. So it'll give us something like what we want, but it put the face of the rabbit onto the logo. So the quick way to just quickly fix that is to give it a second response saying, looks good, but can you remove the face? And now it is the original Figma logo that we had but this time it's just the logo and we told it to give it a white background as well. So just to compare, we went from this logo right here to this end result. And again, you can do this with any logo. So I just search up the Webflow logo. We can look up the Spotify logo if we want to. And we can just take any image that we want, put it into ChatGPT 4.0, and then tell it to turn it into the style of whatever 3D image that we give it. So let's just say we want a normal 3D logo. We can give it the logo that we want and we can just simply tell it to make this a 3D logo. We don't even have to su supply a second image. We can just say, make this 3D. And it honestly does a pretty good job. It gives us a 3D image of that logo. This one's a lot more glossy than the other ones. And I usually prefer the soft, more pastel look. But if, if you do want a glossy logo like this, then you can totally do that. And all you have to do is just tell it to make it the logo 3D and it will go ahead and do that for you. So that's how you can make logos 3D inside of ChatGPT 4.0's brand new image generation model. If this video helped you guys out, please leave a like, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped you out.